So I'd like to welcome you to the exciting world of the half-century avalanche that I've called Gnomus. I've done every kind of experiment there is in the world on this, and I've made <clears throat> every mistake at least once, probably more times than just once. Um, you can see it's, it's kind of a mess back here. This is also me experimenting with every single different way of wiring it together. One of the experiments that I've done is, you'll see here, as soon as focus comes in, uh, I've, I've been experimenting with mylar capacitors. Come on, focus. And electrolytics. Come on, focus. Let me can focus this closely. So that's a mylar cap, and that's an electrolytic. Um, do they sound different? Not well. Let's find out. So uh, one of the big fun mistakes that I made was having a minus 18 volts power supply rather than a plus 18 volts one. That was exciting for a while, so that got fixed. So this turns on the whole contraption. Now we know that the Mylar is on three and I don't actually have anything else wired up on three and the electrolytic is on four and I don't have anything else wired up on four. So so what have I done? Oh, so first thing is I have to turn it on. <laughs> just uh, the, I decided that the red light would just mean that it was getting power. So now I've got power, and now that's the mylar. So they do sound a little bit different. Uh, let's take a little look. So the Mylar sounds a little bit brighter to me, um, but it doesn't go down into that uh, subsonic kind of range that this... That the These are both uh, 10 microfarads, um, so they seem to both have a place. Uh, oh, I was about to say something really stupid like the micro... The, Mylars seem more musical to me. That's kind of silly. Um, you'll notice also I'm experimenting with every different type of knob. Uh, I think that I would use all these knobs, although I seem to only have two. I should have five, but I can't find them. Anyway, that's an update. Uh, oh, I can just do this. There, now it's all shut off. <laughs>